Pomeranians are toy-sized and they make wonderful companion and lap dogs. These tiny and cute dogs are very popular because of their small size and lively personalities. These tiny dogs, however, are descended from Spitz dogs. They have big attitudes and personalities. Sometimes they show a stubborn and willful nature, which demands proper training in order to become a well-behaved adult dog. Potty training is a long process and an earlier start is a must. Don't delay the training and start it as soon as possible, usually from the very first day. Although they could be trained at any age, young puppies are a lot easier to train than adult dogs. Therefore, an immediate start is recommended. However, a puppy must be at least 8 weeks old when you start training them, because at around 8 weeks of age, puppies are able to learn and comprehend. This is the first step, and even before you bring home a puppy, you need to decide where exactly you want your puppy to go to the bathroom. You can choose either an indoor or outdoor spot. Pomeranians are little dogs, and they can adjust to an indoor arrangement, but an outdoor spot is always an ideal choice. Choose a convenient spot, which could be a corner of your backyard. This designated spot should not be far away. It is supposed to be easily and quickly accessible. The spot should be suitable for all weathers and easily accessible all year round, even in case of rain or snow. Designate a constant spot, because puppies don't like a changing spot. A side area is preferable, because puppies don't like to be disturbed while doing their business. Puppies are small, and they will be comfortable with a small space in your backyard. Puppies are like toddlers, and whenever nature calls, they just do it anywhere. It is your responsibility to make them understand that there is a dedicated spot for this, and indoor areas are off limits. In the beginning, they are new at home, and it is a lot easier to draw boundaries. Whenever your puppy goes to the designated spot, reward her lavishly. A constant schedule is really helpful and is a key for the success of the training process. You need to create a daily schedule for your puppy, which includes feeding, playing, sleeping, and doing their business. All of these should be done at the same time every day. This will build a constant routine, which will be really helpful in the long run because you can predict when they need to go potty and thus prevent indoor accidents. Constant meal timings play a crucial role in building a schedule, because if a puppy gets meals on a schedule, she will most likely eliminate it on a schedule, which ultimately means you can almost correctly predict their bathroom timings. Normally, puppies need bathroom breaks at certain times of the day, like immediately after waking up from sleep, around 15 minutes after a meal, and before bedtime. They also feel an urge after a long play session or a walk. Besides these regular timings, Pomeranian puppies need more frequent potty breaks because these toy dogs have very small bladders and they cannot hold it for long. Moreover, they have fast metabolisms, which demands more potty breaks. Most of the time, puppies will give you some signals whenever they have an urge for the bathroom. They have different ways of telling you, which could be certain body movements, behaviors, or gestures. These signs are indicators that they need an immediate potty break. Sniffing the floor is the first indication that they are finding a suitable spot for the bathroom. They may also walk around in circles to find an old or a suitable spot for the bathroom. Sometimes you will notice an abrupt change in their behavior and they will stop playing and show some restlessness. They may whine or bark at you and the door, which means they want you to take them to the designated spot. Squatting or lifting a leg are late signs and you need to take prompt action. An individual puppy could have separate signs, but these are the most common ones. Your puppy could show a combination of these signs as soon as you receive these potty signs. Take them to the designated spot. Puppies normally have some indoor accidents, which is actually quite normal in the beginning. These accidents happen because of their physical and mental limitations. A physical limitation means that they don't have control of their bladder and it takes a few months to develop a reasonable control. A mental limitation means they need some time to fully grasp the concept of a dedicated spot and they are not used to a designated bathroom spot. Sometimes, potty accidents happen because of internal body issues like a bladder infection or diarrhea. So technically speaking, a puppy cannot be fully blamed for potty accidents. However, you also need to discourage indoor accidents, which can be done by interrupting them. When you catch your puppy in the act, disturb the process by clapping your hands and carrying him to the designated spot. 
Do not use physical punishment and avoid yelling or shouting because that will scare him. Clean the potty spot right away. Puppies are often more tempted to return to the old potty spot because if they can smell that spot, they consider it as their marked territory. Normal cleaner will remove the stain but cannot remove the smell. You have to use an enzymatic cleaner which removes stain, odor, and enzymes and thus eliminates every trace of the potty accident. This is a totally personal choice and preference. Pomeranians are toy-sized and they make ideal apartment dogs, where obviously indoor arrangements are more suitable. You can train them to use newspaper or puppy pads. You can even use a litter box made for dogs. Their small size means a small mess, which is relatively easier to clean. However, it is recommended that if possible, you should arrange an outdoor bathroom spot. Indoor arrangements may have some drawbacks, like a puppy may consider the whole interior as their bathroom area instead of pads only. The outdoor feeling of fresh air, soil, and grass is always an ideal choice for dogs. You cannot use both indoor and outdoor spots at the same time because that will disturb the training process. Puppies naturally want to be attached to one specific bathroom spot. According to the American Kennel Club, crate training is an essential part of housebreaking puppies, as dogs don't like to soil their sleeping quarters. A puppy views the crate as her den, and den animals naturally want to keep their den clean. It is their natural instinct. So if you use a crate, a puppy understands that they have to sleep in this confined space and they don't want any mess or smell inside of it. This teaches them to hold their bladder and not to urinate or defecate inside the crate. So this strategy of using a crate as a potty training tool is very effective. Aside from its own benefits, crate is a big help in the potty training process. Your puppy needs to go to the bathroom on command. Choose a cue word for the bathroom. It is more suitable to use a single and clear word like toilet, potty, etc. Fortunately, there is a general formula of months to hours which is often used to calculate their holding ability. According to the Humane Society of the United States, a puppy can control their bladder one hour for every month of age. The American Kennel Club also recommends this general guideline of months to hours. However, these are upper limits and do not strictly apply to every puppy. Pomeranians are small dogs and have small bladders. They need frequent breaks to relieve themselves in the designated spot. Puppies by birth don't have control over their bowel muscles, and they need a few months to get control of their bladders. According to AKC, this duration is around four months. As they mature, they are able to hold it, but prior to that, they have a loose control and need frequent potty breaks. Pomeranians have small bladders and they should not be expected to hold it for longer. If they are forced to hold it for long times, that could cause bladder issues or urinary tract infections. Potty training these little dogs is relatively difficult because of their small bladders. Part of the reason is their stubborn nature. Normally, it takes around four to six months. In some individual cases, it could be more or less than this time duration. It is not just Pomeranians. Toy breeds are generally harder to potty train. Plus, the potty training is the biggest challenge of the whole training process. Puppies need some time to be fully potty trained. You need to be dedicated and consistent in the training process. So before we dive into crate training, we need to understand, is crate training required or not? According to the American Kennel Club, dogs instinctively seek small spaces to create shelters for themselves. It is a training tool and a safe haven. Vets, trainers, and breeders recommend crate training. The Humane Society of the United States also recommends this by saying that it takes advantage of the dog's natural instincts for a comfortable, quiet, and safe place. It is a tool for house training and is a safe way for transportation of a dog. However, a correct use is the main requirement. While the crate has been recommended for its benefits, it is still a choice and not a mandatory thing. A crate is their den, bedroom, and private space. It's like their shelter and a safety zone. A crate prevents them from chewing and wandering inside the house when they are left alone for a short time. According to the American Kennel Club, crate ranks high as a potty training tool. Dogs are less likely to relieve themselves inside the crate because they want it to be clean, since it is their den. So crate works as a valuable tool for potty training. 
A crate is a handy tool for transporting a dog. It is a lot easier to transport them inside a crate, and they remain safe and less anxious inside a crate. Many airlines and hotels demand to put your dog in a crate while traveling. You are creating a personal space and bedroom for your puppy, so its interior should be appealing to a puppy. Make the crate a comfortable, safe, and happy place. The most crucial role is played by the bedding space. Pomeranians need an extra cozy bed. You can use towels or blankets in the bedding space, but they are harder to wash in the case of a potty accident, while purpose-made beds are often easily washable. Puppies usually need a chewing-proof bed, while senior dogs need a bed that prevents joint problems. Dogs need their favorite toys inside the crate to play with when they are left alone in the crate. Provide them with some soft chewing toys. You can also use a puzzle toy filled with a treat, and a puppy will be busy and entertained while left alone in the crate. Decorate the crate in a way that gives the vibes of a den. Make sure there are no harsh lights and provide a dim light environment by covering the sides. However, there should be enough ventilation. Remove any collar, tags, or harness because if those get stuck in the crate, they could cause injury. You can set up a dog camera around the crate to keep an eye on the puppy while you're away. So once the crate has been properly decorated, it is time to invite your puppy to the crate. Puppies are driven by food and you need to use treats to lure them inside the crate. Use a happy and encouraging voice while bringing them to the crate. Puppies are curious and if you give them a free hand, they will explore the crate on their own. There are appealing things inside the crate like a comfortable bedding and their favorite toys and treats. Give your puppy plenty of time to explore the crate and become comfortable with it. When she enters inside, give her more treats, but don't close the door at first. A puppy is not familiar with the crate and may become scared that she will be stuck there forever. A recommended strategy is to do everything slowly and gradually. For example, in the beginning, keep the door open and then start closing it in the later attempts. Similarly, start with short sessions of the crate and then gradually build the time period inside the crate. The best time to introduce them to the crate is when they are tired or after a playing session. It is because a tired puppy would want to relax inside the comfortable environment of the crate. But if she is in an active mood, she would want to play around and go outside of the crate. Sometimes it happens that when you leave your puppy inside the crate, she starts whining, crying, or barking. This is their way of protest for leaving them alone in the crate. It may be hard to resist, but you don't need to let them out while they are whining because if you do so, you are teaching her that her whining takes her out of the crate. This whining behavior needs to be discouraged, otherwise your puppy will use that every time you put her back inside. You can check on them later when they have become quiet. It should be your goal to build a positive image of the crate in your puppy's mind, because once that is achieved, your puppy will happily go inside the crate and stay there. There are a few things you are supposed to do, provide a cozy bed, and keep their favorite toys inside the crate. Feeding them inside the crate will help them to naturally associate with the crate. A puppy should be able to go in and out freely. Make sure their overall experience in the crate is positive and they consider the crate a place of happiness and joy. By using the right approach and positive training methods, they will be able to love the crate. And to build a positive image of the crate, there are a few things you need to avoid. A crate should never be used as a punishment. Don't force them to go inside the crate, otherwise they will think of it as a negative place. Don't use a crate that is too big or too small for them. Don't rush the training process. Instead, do it gradually. You need to use a command for the crate. It could be a short phrase or a single word, like crate, kennel, etc. This is required to build a connection between the crate and the required action. A crate is supposed to be their den and bedroom, and for that, you need to place it at a desirable location. An ideal location would be a place where a dog could feel the vibe of a family, a place where they don't feel isolated or abandoned. Pomeranians are very social dogs and they want to be part of the family. You should keep the crate in the main area of the house, like a family room or your bedroom. Poms are companion dogs, and while they are inside the crate, they want to be connected to their owners. Since poms are toy dogs, their crate is also small, which could be easily placed at any suitable location. If your puppy doesn't like a location, you can try new ones. Don't keep the crate in isolated places like a backyard or basement. 
Don't keep it outdoors and on the terrace. You can choose a crate of any type, but its size is really important. It should be of an appropriate size and not too large or too small. The crate should not have extra space because in that case, your puppy might use one corner for sleep and another for the bathroom, which will not serve the purpose of crate training. An ideal crate size should have enough space for a puppy to stand up, turn around, and stretch out freely without hitting the crate. Pomeranians are toy-sized and they need a crate that is specifically designed for toy breeds. You should buy a crate for their adult size because puppies grow rapidly in their first few months and during that time, you can use divider panels to shrink or expand the crate according to their changing size. According to the American Kennel Club, an adult Pomeranian is around 7 inches tall and can weigh up to 7 pounds. Crates come in a lot of shapes and sizes. You can choose from a variety of options, but there are some basic necessities in a crate like a removable tray, non-chewable material, double doors, and divider panels. Wire crates are durable, collapsible, and offer a wide view of their surroundings. They are probably the best option for home usage. Wire crates have divider panels and a floor tray, which makes it easier to clean them. Wooden crates are also a good choice for home usage. They are often style-driven and used to match with the home furniture. Plastic and fabric crates are portable and can be carried anywhere. They are very convenient for travel and, in fact, they are the only crate types approved for airline travel by IATA. It is mandatory to use the crate humanely and for the required time only. The Humane Society of the United States states that puppies under six months of age shouldn't stay in a crate for more than three or four hours at a time. Puppies are physically not able to hold their bladders for a long time, and that means if they are locked up in the crate for long, they might end up relieving themselves inside the crate. Pomeranians are toy dogs, and they have very small bladders, which means they have limited capacity to hold it, and therefore require frequent potty breaks. The second most important thing is the requirement of mental and physical stimulation. Pomeranians may be toy dogs, but they are extroverted and have the ancestry of Spitz working dogs. They are lively and playful and need proper mental and physical stimulation. If you or your family is around, there is absolutely no need to put your dog in a crate, unless it is their nap time. They are companion and lap dogs and always want to be by your side. The crate should be used ethically and humanely, otherwise it could be counterproductive. Crate training does take some time. There is no fixed time duration, but it could take a few weeks or months. In some cases, it could take up to six months. Every puppy is different and has its own personality and experiences. Some puppies accept it right away, while others require some time to become comfortable with the crate. You need to be patient and consistent in the training process, and you will get the required results. Pomeranians are smart and trainable dogs, but they do have some breed-specific characteristics like a willful and stubborn nature and a small dog syndrome. Poms are known for their stubborn nature, but it is not shown all the time. They are also keen to please their owners, which sometimes overcomes their stubborn nature. Pomeranians are small, and they have a small dog syndrome. This means that they have a small stature but have big attitudes and personalities. This sometimes causes them to follow their own minds without listening to your commands. However, this stubborn, willful, and small dog syndrome does not indicate that they are less smart or less trainable. It only means they are moody and their training is relatively challenging. According to the ranking of Dr. Stanley Corrin, who is a renowned canine psychologist, Pomeranians are highly trainable dogs and can learn new commands in 5 to 15 repetitions. They can be taught a lot of canine sports like obedience, agility, fly ball, etc. Because of their intelligence, palms make excellent therapy and service dogs. You can train your puppy by yourself or enroll them in a puppy training class like an obedience or kindergarten class. These training classes are very beneficial in terms of providing basic training as well as mandatory socialization. You can enroll them in a puppy class as soon as they turn around 10 weeks old. However, initial vaccinations are required before entry to any class. If you are facing problems with a certain behavioral issue, you can consult a professional trainer or behaviorist. 
These training classes are arranged by local dog clubs or shelters. The American Kennel Club also provides different training programs, like Star Puppy and Canine Good Citizen programs. An ideal training session is supposed to be short, focused, and entertaining for your puppy. Train them in a quiet environment where there are less distractions. Puppies have shorter attention spans, so you don't need to give them long training sessions. Use short and clear words for the command. Give them training in a positive way and end the session on a positive note by giving them praise and treats. According to the American Kennel Club, every puppy needs to learn these five basic commands. Come, heal, sit, down, and stay. According to the American Veterinary Society of Animal Behavior, only reward-based training should be used for all canine training. Aversive methods should be avoided because they have damaging effects and are not effective. Positive reinforcement is the best strategy for training a dog. The Humane Society of the United States calls it a powerful tool, while the American Kennel Club considers it a foundation of training. Positive reinforcement means using praise and treats to reward a behavior and redirect undesired behaviors. You should never punish your dog even if he shows undesired behavior. Yelling, scolding, or punishing are cruel practices. They are counterproductive and make them more stubborn and aggressive. Socialization is critical for training. It helps them become well-behaved adult dogs. You need to start their socialization from a young age. The ideal time for training is their first few months. You can take them outside for a walk, expose them to a new environment, and let them experience new sounds, smells, and sights. A dog's park and a puppy training class are the ideal places for socializing them with other dogs. However, they must have received their vaccination before being exposed to other dogs. Pomeranians can get along well with other dogs and pets if socialized and introduced properly. However, because of their small size, they need to be supervised around small children and large dogs. Socialization helps them become a confident and friendly dog. If a puppy is not properly socialized, she will grow up to be a nervous, fearful, and aggressive dog. Training is a combined effort of both of you, and this part of the training is totally related to you. An owner is supposed to be patient and consistent in the training process. Training is a long and daunting task, and it is not just Pomeranians. Every puppy needs some time to learn the process. Pomeranians may show some stubbornness or headstrong nature, but you can overcome that with consistent training. Lack of consistency will highly disturb the training process. You need to be patient as well, because all puppies need time to master the training. So, training may take some time and effort, but it is a rewarding experience in the long run and totally worth the effort and time.